Tech doing free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures in the basic JavaScript on challenge 96 of 113. So today we are going to iterate with while loops. Okay, so this is really important. You'll use loops a lot. Uh, generally I use for loops, but while loops are also pretty fundamental. So loops are used when you want code to run multiple times. Um, the first type we're going to learn about is a while loop, and it runs until a specified condition is true or while a specified condition is true, hence the name, while. Uh, and then it stops when that condition is no longer true. So you can see in this example, we have the while loop, and it says while i is less than five. We're gonna take uh, the array, my array here, our array, and we're gonna push i into it, and then we increment i. So note that i is being incremented or decremented, in this case it's incremented. Uh, so the conditional one of the variables that is part of the condition is changing. So now it will not infinitely loop. Eventually that condition will no longer be true and it will exit the loop. If you do not increment or do not change or have some way to change the, the variables that are in your conditional, you're gonna run into an infinite loop and it will continuously push, uh, you know, if this wasn't here, it would continuously push uh, zero into this array infinite times and it would, it would go on forever and crash. So for this example here, we have my array, it's empty array, and we want to add the numbers five through zero, including zero, uh, in descending order to my array using a while loop, okay? So it's very similar logic to what we see here. When you're using loops, you wanna use a let or a var just so it can be modified. So we're gonna say let i equals five, equals as in assigning it to five, and then we'll say while i is greater than or equal to zero. So while it's zero or above, we are going to, the same thing here, we have the, just like a function, you have the brackets, anything that's within this is what the code is that's gonna get ran over and over and over. Um, so we'll say my array, so we'll take the array and dot push, which as we know, pushes a value to the end of it and we'll push i into it. So the first run of this, it will push five into it and then we want i to change to four. So we'll say i minus minus. So then it'll push four and then three and then two and then one and then zero. And then the zero will be in there and i will become negative one, which will make this condition no longer true, which will then exit the loop without pushing negative one into it. So that's all we should have to do for this one. Okay, so that is important to note that it will run until the condition is false and then it will exit. Alright, so hope that helped. Hope to see you guys in the next video.